All right, today we have Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 9. Now, before we get into the episode, we do have a question from the Q&A section on the Discord. If you guys ever have a question for me you want me to answer specifically, I try to answer at least one before any episode that show pertains to. So check out that Q&A section over on the Discord. So today's question comes from Evie Neeks or Evie Nex. I apologize for butchering your name if I did, and thank you so much for the question. But the question is, whose fight do you anticipate the most in Shibuya arc, and whose new domain do you want to see the most? So for me, the fight I want to see the most it's kind of like a loophole fight it's mahito versus yuji but only because we still necessarily haven't seen the pact that yuji made with sakuna come into play yet so i'm only choosing that fight because i want to see sakuna come out and i have high hopes that he's going to come out this arc and do something wild and in terms of the domain expansion i want to see the most it's probably going to be hanami's or the tree spirit curse just because it correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but i'm pretty sure Hanami was a millisecond away from using it against Toto and Yuji before Gojo broke the barrier in season one and put an end to everything. So we would have seen it. So I'm very excited. I know they have it. I am very excited. Again, thank you for the question. Like I said, check out that Q&A section. Check out the Patreon if you guys want the full uncut version of this episode, as well as early access and uncuts of the other shows I'm watching. Let's not waste any more time. Hop right into today's episode. Season two, episode nine, JJK. Let's do it. No running away, right? Yeah, we're right here. What's up? Face to face, man to curse. Right in between you two. Yeah, he did indeed just touch you. He's about to break Go Jogo's arm? He definitely did. Not arm, he broke it off. And used it to block Hanami's punch. <laughs> and then chucks Jogo. Right, he said he was going to go after Hanami first, but then is only targeting Jogo. <laughs> Indeed. Free touching is available right now. The animation looks so fluid. Okay. Battle tactics are always some of my favorite. Let's just go straight balls to the wall. What kind of face was that? On the horns? Yes, he is. That's why. Was that Choso's blood flinging those heads? Oh my god, it was! He's the last remaining one. He said, the more you try to get through it, the more I have to amplify and focus on it. Oh my god, and I'm shut. Are you going to use humans as bait? Try to lure him away from Hanami? I'm not sure he gives a shit right now. I won't lie to you, Jogo. <laughs> I, is that the Q&A section question of this fucking just am I, am I, did I just, oh my god I got goosebumps I'm okay I have to stop just because he's about to go in depth about the prison realm and I've wanted to know about that forever so I have to pay attention to that on the way that they had it slowly just get louder and louder peaking to that just now it's just hushed quietness and Hanami is literally a bug splatter on the wall. Oh my god, that was satisfying. That was so cathartic. For a minute. Four meters for one minute. If he's knowingly, like if he knows he has to stay within four meters, he'll get out of there within half a second. So how do we keep him there for a minute? Are they playing Mahjong? Or... This isn't Domino's, right? It has to be Mahjong. I've never played Mahjong. Dulero, you're probably not watching this, but if you are, you're a Mahjong expert. How's that plan going for you so far? The minute you needed Hanami. Look at him just can chase him. He's getting people thrown at him as distractions. He's just stopping them. He's walking on some Michael Myers type shit. He looks like a fucking serial killer. 
Bro, look at this. I've never seen a cursed spirit so afraid. That was so clean. Chosa was hiding in the crowd. What's he about to do? He's using the people as visible shields. So he can't see when the blood comes in. At least, I won't lie, he's being realistic about it. Literally, he's being an Avenger right now. He's like, I, I know for a fact I'm not going to be able to save all of you, but at least I'll be able to avenge you and exercise you. And exercise them. That ghetto at the end? Which... That's crazy. I didn't put it into perspective until I, I I read it in the comment section on last episode, just because of how important and integral Ghetto is to the story. I like I'm me personally forgot until last week, or at least re remembered. I was like, they don't even realize Ghetto is a part of this everything at all. I re told that to my friends when we were discussing like what we think is gonna happen this episode. They're like, what do you what do you mean? They know Ghetto is involved, obviously. I'm like, no, they think he died in zero. Like Gojo, everyone. His unaware completely. They think it's Mahito, Jogo, and not and Hanami and Choso. Now they do not. It's so interesting how this reveal is going to happen. What we're going to get told. What happened at the end of Zero? I need everything like that. Oh, is the train coming into Gojo's platform? I think it is because Mahito said, I'm, I, "I wish I could fight right now, but I can't. I have a plan to do." So you know it's got to be important. Is this going to be full of transfigured people? Is it going to be another curse? Is it going to be even more danger? It's going to be like just transfigured people, huh? Oh, stuffed to the brim. Literally. Yeah, guys, ever seen those subway stations in Japan? Of people? Like that. Except they're not transfigured. Oh. Oh, it's like that. It's like that. Okay. Was that Hanami's wood to seal them on the upper floor? Now he just let that go. Supernova body repel. This is the huge AOE attack Gojo was just talking about. Oh. Yep. Exactly. Cold logic. Good way to put it. Ahito's thinking right as well. And what decision has he made? He doesn't give a fuck. He said exercise. He said we at the gym. You getting exercise. We at the gym. All these people are so dead. Their brains are just about to be flooded. Bro. Are we saying what I think we're saying? purely on instinct oh, did he i'm gonna have to go back and get that during editing are we saying that he activated his own his innate domain his domain expansion infinite void for two tenths of a second because he thought non-sorcerers that would be their limit being able to withstand that without their brains just turning into mush and in that two tenths of a second whatever sort of post-delay hesitation that would inflict on Jogo, Mahito, and Choso because they're still stunned at the fact that he just did that, possibly even stunned at the domain expansion itself. In that two-tenths of a second, <laughs> this, this boy is taking care of all the transfigured humans. And who, Oh, bro, the way they animated that. I want to go back and watch that. I actually might. I can't lie. <laughs> Look at the way it's it's a little dimmed and it's a little ghosted, but it still looks beautiful. Like when the Blu-ray of this comes out, you can bet your ass I'm buying it. Without becoming vegetables, literally mush. Oh my god, the way they're showing this, it's so fast. I love with the piano, the little crazy jazz in the background, whatever you call it. Two months. Two months is still kind of crazy for two tenths of a second. Oh my god, that just goes to show you. With the music, bro, this is like a fucking concert. I love how this looks visually. 
and the bro, the visuals with the music right there was just I got chills. I was probably one of the hardest feats, physically wise, Gojo's ever had to do. Honestly. All of the roughly thousand. And this is the signature shot. That is the prison room. Is this what Ghetto meant? He needed him. This is the title of this episode. He needed the, him more uncomposed. He needed him a little less ready. I love how they show that with the Mahjong tiles. He's like, now's the perfect time to start that minute, if any. With the music? He's so taken back. He might just sit here for a minute just fucking pondering how it's him. And see, this hits so much harder because of the movie, because of that hidden inventory arc, bro. That's what I'm saying. He might just fucking sit there for a minute just thinking. He just truly doesn't believe it's him. It could still totally be Ghetto. It was a string holding it together the whole time? What the hell? That's what the score... What? I can pass from one body to another by replacing its brain with myself. So I was thinking, is this Ghetto... But no, this is on some Zetsu shit. It's literally his brain. I can pass from one body to another by So it's like a... I mean, it's kind of weird because technically it's been way long overdue. But this is just a fit like... Ghetto is actually like dead, huh? I was hoping we would still have a chance to turn him with whatever. So... I'm sure we're going to get this answer in a second, but am I to assume after Gojo kills Ghetto in JJK Zero that whatever brain curse finds him just <laughs> takes out his brain on some Baldur's Gate shit? Etched into the body? That's so broken! It makes sense. And I love how the brain itself has a mouth, but it still uses Ghetto's mouth, obviously. <laughs> I don't know what to call Ghetto now. I don't want to call him Ghetto because it's disrespecting Ghetto that this brain fuckers in his body, you know? Nakamura's still alive! Muta! Bro, this whole arc's gonna turn up. We don't have Gojo anymore. This is the this is all we get of him. Well, damn. Talk about an episode. <sighs> There's so much that went on, I don't even know how to start. Let's just start with the Gojo, Choso, Dogo, and Hanami fight. Choso was not afraid to just absolutely murk all those people around Gojo. Hold on. Can you guys answer me this? Because this is a quick question I have. Um, Gojo said the people who were unable to see Curse Spirits just started naturally avoiding him because they knew he was the center of attention. Um, but he also said Choso is not a cursed spirit and is uh, obviously a, what's the word I'm looking for? Inhabited, you know what I'm trying to say? He's a reanimate, you know what I'm, so uh, can normal people see Choso? They can, right? I'm trying to think back to his two brothers when they were fighting Yuji and Nobara on the road and those truck drivers came in and they jumped on the back of the truck driver and they held him as hostage. He had to have seen him. I'm pretty sure they can see Choso, right? I'm just curious about that, just for my own lore sake. You know, my brain just be kerfuffled. I got hit with the domain expansion for two tenths of a fucking second, so that's why my brain's a little kerfuffled. But fight was insane. I love the use of uh, the void. I love the non-use and the use of void to uh, bait them in and then ultimately take out Hanami. And I cannot believe after me saying Hanami's was the domain expansion I was looking forward to most that he just got flattened like a fucking pancake. I am so happy Muta Mekamaru is alive. He might not even be. It could be just a, an automated message that if I don't do something by a certain time, send this to Yuji, you know? 
cannot believe everything that's going down with uh, fucking gojo with the two tenths of a second domain expansion into his five minute just killing spree into that being finally what's needed to bring him down just a smidgen just so i can't call him ghetto i'm gonna call him fucking braino because now braino uh was able to take advantage and seal him the prison realm looks sick i love the way it looked it has like fucking the four it looks like some Yu-Gi-Oh shit and it was like crying blood like this was so crazy and he's even the brain's able to take the technique of the body of the of the uh, of etching of the bodies that he takes over like that's so crazy to me and like i say that so like actually heartfelt like i'm pissed that they're taking over like you're disrespecting ghetto like yeah ghetto may have had our differences and stuff like that but like i'm officially gonna look at zero different now like when i rewatch zero like ghetto's officially officially dead i thought like something happened where like he stayed alive somehow but no he actually died yeah. if you guys enjoyed this episode please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below all that jazz i appreciate y'all have a great day dapper squad peace out